Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel and Kishala. I hope you all are doing. So I hope our thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, I will share my experience of doing MTech at the age of 27. So as you all know that I graduated my BTech in 2012 and then I prepared for GATE for quite a long time. Then I worked in ISRO for one year and finally I joined IFC Bangalore for my MTech in CSA department in 2018 when my age was 27. Now, why I want to share this story is that I got a lot of messages for many students, you know, probably, you know, who have joined uh, some job, they are not a freshers candidate, but they are not happy with their job and they uh, they have a dream to do their MTech from IITs and ISC. But one concern every such students have is that how easy it will be to join MTech at a higher age. Probably if you are not a freshers student, you feel that if I join uh, MTech after four or five years of my BTech, how easy it will be, will it be very difficult or not? So that's why I thought, let's share my experiences. So when I joined ISC Bangalore in 2018, when my age was 27, there were certain difficulties they faced during my MTech curriculum, specifically in the first phase, during the first couple of semesters, I faced a lot of difficulty. So that I'm going to discuss, and there are some advantages also I had. That we also, I, I actually said is that because of a senior guy, before of a, because of a, a guy, you know, who has some experience, prior experience working in some other industry, there are some advantages also I had during my MTech curriculum. So that I'm going to share in this particular video. So that will be overall the content of today's video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in this video till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you are new to this particular channel, do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload this kind of videos, you will get notification. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further delay, let's get starting. So first, let's talk about what are the difficulties I faced when I joined ISC Bangalore in 2018 for my MTech career. So the first issue that I faced was that I didn't have a regular study habit uh, for quite long time when I was joining ISC Bangalore. So as I, as I told you before that I cracked gate in 2017 and since then I was working in ISRO for around 15 months. So that means when I cracked gate or maybe when I ended my gate preparation in February 2017, since then till 2018 July when I joined ISC Bangalore, I was completely disconnected or discontinued with my regular or conventional study habit. Because I was working in ISRO, that was a 97 job. Uh, I was going to office doing the work. Uh, so that was the major issue that I find in my first semester of ISC Bangalore MTech curriculum that, you know, I'm struggling to follow up with the curriculum because in ISC Bangalore, as you know, in IITs or ISC Bangalore, if you're going for MTech curriculum, you are expected to do a lot of hard work by your own. That means you have to follow up all of your courses, the classes, you have to take the notes, you have to study those notes back uh, in, in your postal log. Maybe you have to study extra sometimes to understand the concepts. Then you have to solve the assignment. You have to, you know, prepare for quizzes, midterm. There are a lot of projects we going on. So the first semester was complete mess for me because I was gradually cope up with this kind of system and I'm gradually cope up with studying regularly and consistently. So that was one of the major issues I faced in my first semester because I was working for quite quite some time in ISRO after my get, uh, is, get exam is over. So that's why I was not in a regular study habit and that affected me in my initial part of uh, ISC Bangalore uh, intake curriculum, especially the first semester I struggled a lot with it. I remember I dropped a course also in my first semester because I was not able to manage those four subjects which I have taken in the first semester. So I dropped one course and I continued the rest three and then I am able to manage a CGP of eight in my first semester. So that was the difficulty I faced in my first semester. And I feel that if you are someone who are planning to join MTech after working for quite some time in some organization, this is an issue that you might face that you might have to, uh, you know, build your regular study habit, the consistent or regular study habit uh, in order to do well in your MTech. The next difficulty or I would say challenge for me was to cope up with the fresh student or fresher students who have joined ISC Bangalore that year. So in my time in 2018, in, in, in the MTech batch in CSA department, there are 60 to 70% students actually fresher students who have just graduated in 2018 in their BTEC and they have joined ISC Bangalore uh, for MTech curriculum. And if you go to any IIT and ISC, the scenario is same. 60 to 70% student enrolling for MTech is actually the fresher students who have just graduated BTEC 
they have back gate and they have joined these institutions for the point. Now, again, these stress batch of students, they have the advantage, like they are in the continuous space of study. Uh, they were doing BTA a couple of months back. They are in the same kind of culture where they are studying, they are preparing for the exam, they are preparing for the quizzes, solving assignments, and they are, just, they are now just come to IITs and doing the same thing. So for them, it's nothing new. Uh, they are just continuing or extending their BTEC life to the MTEC. Like obviously in the MTEC pressure is more, but whatever they are doing a couple of months back during their BTEC, they are now also doing the same thing. But for me, you know, a couple of back, months back, I was working in ISRO. You know, I don't have any pressure of studying hard to do well in the exam. Now I have come to ISC Bangalore where I have to really work hard so that I can compete with these fresh batch of students. And, and then do well in my MTech curriculum. Because in every stage of your MTech curriculum, you have to compete with your core student. Because relative grading system is there in ISCs and IITs where your grade will depend on the other students. It's not absolute grading, it's a relative grading. So if you can't match or compete with your core students, your grade will drastically go down. So that's why, you know, I had to work really hard to match with those students. And that was the second difficulty or challenge, I would say, I faced that I, I had to work really hard to cope up with these students who are fresh students who have just joined uh, from the BTEC. And that is, I think, one of the major issues you will find if you join MTEC after quite a few years or so. The next difficulty I feel that I was lacking that time was that I feel that I was not updated with the kind of latest technology that was going on in 2018. So those fresh students who have joined uh, ISC Bangalore, they know Python, they know AI, they know machine learning a bit. But I was not aware of it because I, I, I was telling that I completed my BTEC in 2012. That time AI or machine learning was not that much famous. And when I was working in Accenture, TCS and then uh, ISRO also, I, I have never um, did my coding in Python. Most of the time I, I did coding in Java or C++, C++ or uh, C, C sharp or C.net. So that's why, you know, I never did a single line of code in Python. So when I joined ISC Bangalore, I found that people are already aware about AI machine learning. They know about Python. And I personally feel that, you know, I was not that much uh, kind of skilled or that much aware about this kind of advanced technologies. So again, I worked really hard so that I can learn Python. And then in the second semester, I learned machine learning and AI. So that is also one thing. I mean, if you are if you have done your BTEC for quite uh, quite before, and now you want to go for your MTech, make sure that you know all the latest technology that is going on. Probably during your job, you haven't done those technologies because seriously, you know, during none of my job profile actually demanded that I need to learn AI, machine learning, or Python. So that's why I didn't learn it during my uh, job job time in TCS, Accenture, or ISRO. So that was the next difficulty that I faced. And the next challenge or difficulty that might come off into your mind if you're joining MTech after many years of your BTEC like me, you will find that most of your classmates are much more younger than you. Uh, and this is something I realized on my very first day of ISC Bangalore in 2018 that 60 to 70% students are fresher students. And when I graduated my BTEC, they were probably in class 10 or 9. That means they are 5 or 6 or 7 years younger than me. Now, this thought that you are much more elder than those people, if you let this thought drive you, then it might create a lot of difficulties during your tech curriculum. Because if you feel that you are elder than those people and you are a senior, then you, that will create a lot of lot of complexities in during your tech curriculum. Rather than if you, if you consider those students as your friend, uh, like I did, I deliberately considered those students my, as my friends. And from the very first day, I started behaving that we are friends. And by the, by the time they realize that I am much more elder than them, we are very close friends. So that things never comes in between us. So, you know, I would suggest you that never think that you are much more elder than them. Rather think that you are a classmate, you are of same age and try to be friends with those people because during your MTech curriculum, those students will be very much needed for you because, you know, in, in any IIT or ISC, MTech is not possible to do alone. You have to form many, many, many study groups, with, with, with few of your classmates uh, during course project or, you know, in term project, you have to form groups where, you know, you have to work with these people. Now, if you don't consider them as your friend and if you consider you are a senior guy and they are kind of your subordinate or juniors, then the things will not work. So, so I deliberately considered them as my friend. I started communicating with them as a friend with a lighter note. 
and that actually really helped me because many with many of them I formed a uh, study group I discussed during my placement time uh, they were part of my different course projects and that was kind of a journey of my next is about placement session and whether I have faced any issue due to my age during the placement session the answer is no I didn't face any issue due to my age during any of the placement interviews that I appeared during the on-campus placement at ISC Bangalore though I have only appeared in three companies the first uh, first session or first slot I appeared in Flipkart in second slot I appeared in Mintra and, and a startup none of the companies have asked me about about my age the, the interview was completely based on technical question round uh, they asked me technical question most I mean three of them are actually for data science profiles so they asked me question for machine learning and AI and they were checking my technical ability so I haven't faced any issue due to age and I haven't heard also any such cases there may be few few scenarios where one or two students might face uh, issues in some companies but overall you know issue leads to ISC Bangalore or any top IITs age won't be an issue all the interviews will be completely based on your technical ability how well you have learned those technical concepts based on that they will ask you questions and if you are able to answer those questions you will be selected for the now coming to the what are the advantages I got because of my late admission into MTech like I joined MTech after six years of my beating and due to the age what are the advantages I got the number of advantage was that I was much more mentally matured and focused than my co-students so those students are freshers they are very young so naturally they are not that much matured but as I worked six years in industry and then joining MTech I was much more matured and I was very focused that I have to utilize this MTech as much as possible. So that's why I can, I believe that I have put all of those hard work and compete with those students and maintain a decent GPA because, you know, I was very focused and I was very dedicated that I have to, you know, utilize this MTech as much as possible. So that was number one uh, advantages. The number two was that I was able to explore research as much as possible because, you know, I was frustrated with the job I was doing. And I was like looking for the research exposure and I was thinking that if I get a research exposure from my MTech, I will continue uh, in, in, in PhD. So that's why in, in my second semester, you know, I didn't appear for internship because I was focused that I'll be working, I'll be staying back in the campus and I'll be working under supervision of my uh, supervisor in the MTech project and try to get the flavor of research. So that was a conscious decision that I won't go for internship and 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 I know you work under the supervision of my guy. Uh, so that's why you know in the final final year, you know, I, I have explored a lot in the research and I, I I learned the whole process of research and that actually helped me. That actually motivated me to join PhD later. I personally feel that if I was a freshers candidate, probably my knack will be that let's take a job, let's take a high pack, high packet job and go for a job. So that mentality I didn't have and that was an advantage for me that because I joined so late uh, to the MTech curriculum, that was an ad additional help for me that I was focused that I have to go for a research, I have to explore the research so that I was able to do that. So yeah, that's it guys, that's it about this video. I don't know how many students will be helpful for this particular video because this is specifically for those students who are currently working and thinking about preparing for MTech and they are maybe confused that what would be uh, the consequences if, if you join MTech uh, after a few years of your BTEC or probably someone who have already cracked gate but still not sure whether they should go for PSUs or MTech because they have graduated BTEC for quite long before. So I would say that age is not a factor. How you will deal with all of these things which I have just mentioned in the video based on that your situation will be varying but I, I strongly recommend you that go for it because this IITs and ISC whatever environment that they provide that is a life-changing moment for you and that will change you completely as a human being. So that's it about this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload this kind of videos, you That's it about this video and we can see you until then. Bye.